Number 157 in the imprint range comes The World of Susie Wong in this wonderful hardback uh, double disc edition with some of the artwork that's kind of in the movie uh, included in this one. This film is from 1960. It stars William Holding, uh, Holden and it stars Nancy Kwan as Susie Wong. Virgin! Yes, Virgin! That's me. Is something to be ashamed of? William Holden is Robert Lomax, a man who was an architect. He's moving o over to China to take up being an artist. He wants to stretch his creative uh, ideals. You know, he's gave up his work. He's got enough money to kind of do a year. He finds uh, on the way over there, he meets uh, someone on the ferry, a, a very young, very rich woman who has a, a kind of abrasive conversation with. Uh, and then he meets her later on. Turns out it was all an act. This is Miss Susie Wong, a kind of effervescent, a joyful character whom is just looking for, well, something more solid in life. My girlfriend will say, for goodness sake, you go to gentleman's room and sit? Well, for goodness sake, they'll say, you're slipping, Susie. She works as a kind of prostitute. And although it never really delves into a lot of that, it is heavily hinted at this group of girls who work in a bar, picking up men uh, to make their living. And he stays at a hotel kind of run-down hotel come brothel uh, where he's going to stay because it's cheap and he gets to know a lot of the women there, particularly Susie who, like I said, is a kind of character that captivates him. The fact that she was playing mind games, the fact that she was uh, very playful in that act at the start or when she meets him again pretending she doesn't know him. There's a kind of spark there and even though there's a large age difference between the young Susie Wong about 20 and William Holden who's playing around about 40, you can kind of see the attraction of these two people and it never becomes anything physical for the majority of the movie. It's these two people just getting to know each other and I really kind of like that aspect of it because they're from different worlds, uh, because they have different expectations from each other, we really get to see these characters grow throughout their interactions. If you want, I stay. I'll be your permanent girlfriend. Never go out with other boyfriends. Take good care of you. We see that Susie expects one thing from a kind of rich white person and then you kind of get the idea that uh, Bob is unlike anyone else that's really traversed into Susie's world because he just wants to get to know her, wants to paint pictures of her, wants to take time to spend with her. And you get to see these wonderful locations as well as this character of, of Robert Lomax really starts to take in the culture, become part of it, really enjoy taking up this new artistic lifestyle, enjoying spending time with Susie, spending his time kind of uh, with the, the girls of the bar whom he really enjoys their company. Robert, you said live there. Oh, look, his baby. But then having to deal with the city, more affluent uh, people in his life because that facilitates the kind of life that he has, but is almost moving away from that kind of rich, affluent style towards the more people that are, are genuinely realer for him. But throughout it all, there is a a building up of a romance and a love story and it doesn't seem to follow the typical kind of tropes and it just becomes real easy and natural and that's one of the things I really loved about this regardless uh, of the fact of the different cultures, uh, the different expectations, these two people really have an affinity for each other and it's not driven by physicality, it's driven by uh, what they can offer each other uh, in a kind of sustainable fashion, which I really did like. They grow to uh, spend a lot of time with each other. Uh, and I thought the performances were great. William Holden, who's playing the kind of artist, it doesn't really have that strong feeling about him uh, of an artistic spirit. Uh, Susie Wong, you know, Nancy Kwan, is, is fantastic as this effervescent, bubbly, bright uh, person that's just looking for that kind of security that she's never really had before. It's always about a perception with her, how she's perceived, where she's kind of learning to be self-satisfied within her own life throughout the kind of movie as well. 
Since she's Chinese, it wouldn't matter anyhow. I, I thought they were great together. I thought the film was fantastic. It was so captivating. And for the, the run time of, of just over two hours, it flew by. And I loved every minute of spending it with these people. A great disc. Uh, on this disc as well, there are some good extras. We get an audio commentary. Uh, there's a kaleidoscope of colours, the fashion sense of Susie Wong, and to whom it may concern, Cash End's journey. Um, a featured documentary about the life of Nancy Kwan, which is amazing. And as if that wasn't enough, there's also another disc in this set, Hollywood Chinese, a 90-minute documentary talking with a great host of people all about the influence uh, of seeing... Chinese people represented through cinema, from where they started to how they kind of evolved and got better roles from the uh, people who took perceived as their roles, particularly there's a moment with Christopher Lee in here talking about um, Fu Manchu role and how he kind of got that. It's so expansive. It, I wouldn't say it's like the best made documentary ever, but for talking heads, for information, for relaying a massive time span, it delivers a lot. Uh, yeah, really good. World of Susie Wong was pretty fantastic. I would highly recommend this one. I really enjoyed this film. Uh, just in general, if you can search it out and find a copy of it, even on streaming or with imprint or whatever, I think you'll really enjoy this one. I would love to know your thoughts on the world of Susie Wong. So let me know in the comment box below. And while you're down here, don't forget to hit the like button. As always, there's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership program, and manvfilm.com where you can help to support me in various fashions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.